Hey, good, good, uh, Saturday night, my friend. As usual, I hope this finds everybody doing real good. Y'all excuse this video if it's a little jumpy or a little different. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm on my wife's laptop. Um, I had to, had to come outside from, to do this video. They're asleep in the hotel room and, and, um, so I decided to come on down here to the truck. Like I say, if you if you can't get a good place to make a video, you can always go to the old truck and do it. So decided I'd come down and, and um, get one throwed up tonight. And we've had a great trip down here. It's been a fast trip. We're getting ready to head home tomorrow. We're going to leave and make the run over to Baton Rouge. Of course, our son lives in Baton Rouge. And um, uh, I'm going to stop at the Don Juan's in the morning over there didn't really have any luck at the one in, in New Orleans, uh, on a humidor, that is, but I did have some luck on some other stuff, but but anyhow, they, uh, everyone doing good here, got to meet my uh, daughter-in-law's, <laughs> future daughter-in-law's mom, and, <coughs> and her sister, fine people, good people, really enjoyed it, and uh, she had a good shower, uh, But yeah, they, they, oh, uh, they had a good, good little turnout. Um, then we went to some, had some dinner tonight. I tell you, I've been coming to New Orleans for all my life for business conventions, business or anything, pleasure. <laughs> and there's something to be said for having an inside track to this city as far as dining experience. <coughs> Don't get me wrong, down in the French market area, there's some of the finest cuisine you'll find anywhere. My sparrows and some of those, and I have ate my share of it through the years. But when you get an inside connection, and they can take you where the locals go, um, not the tourists brother there is some fine food down there and one of my favorite places is uh, R&O's I always love to go to R&O's and have their spaghetti and meatballs they've got anything you want in there all kind of burgers and uh, po' boys and they've got seafood you know crawfish in season that kind of thing it's almost kind of a little hole in the wall but they've, they have got the absolute best spaghetti and meatballs that I have ever put in my mouth and I'm a spaghetti and meatball connoisseur. That's one of my specialties in the line of cuisine. Hamburgers, pizza, spaghetti and meatballs and that kind of stuff. It's good. And when you find out where these people go to eat, they don't get down there where the tourists go. When you find out where they go, you've opened up a whole other door to your dining experience. But, um, yeah, it's, um, uh, I tell you, I got down there to, to Don Juan's, got upstairs, I got the computer opened up, the laptop, I said, I'm going to be able to get a video in, and, uh, because I was the only one up there, and then about that time, a couple of guys come up, and then we got started talking, we looked up, and it was time to go, my wife texted me and said, we'll be through here in about 30 minutes, and, uh, so I hooked him up. Uh, I had to go all the way downtown and to Pardras and pick her up, her and Emily, and um, so I left. But I did, I did uh, manage to get a couple of blends. Uh, I bought a, uh, and, and, and they are, they just will not at, at that location put the name of it on there. This one is the standard. Uh, Virginia's Burley. Cavendish mix. It's um, honey swamp something or other, and I'm going. I'm going to call them because I want to remember what this is, and I like to label everything, so I'll call them. But one good find that I did did find was uh, Drew Estate. Ah, uh, 
meat pie. I got to get used to her camera. Nope, 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 nope. Excuse me. Drew Estate, meat pie. If you never smell this stuff, brothers and sisters, it is some, it's some good stuff, good smelling English. And it's an old school English. I got a feeling that's going to be good. When I get up back up to the room, I'm going to fire up a bowl in it. But in my, my little tender box, by tonight, I'm smoking uh, some Drew Estate. Seventh Avenue Blonde, and this came recommended from the young man that was working at the store, and he said he smokes this one on a regular basis. And look, this is one of the smoothest vanilla type blends I've ever smoked, and that's what I'm smoking now. And uh, if you hadn't tried this, this is an excellent smoke. And I, when I get home, get back on my webcam, I'll, I'll uh, something I'm familiar or working, but I can't. Beautiful, beautiful. When I get back home, I'll, I'll, I'll bring this. We'll talk about this a little more, but we're gonna get up in the morning, like I say, head to Baton Rouge, and I'm gonna run by that Don Juan's and look at some humidor, and then we're gonna hook them back up to go, hook them up, heading north to God's Country, North Louisiana. Um, we had uh, the humidors I had that they found, and I didn't make it to Tinderbox because I run out of time. But the humidors that I did find, I mean, you know, the least expensive one they had was 50 bucks, and it had nothing. It was just a cedar box. I said, I can buy a nice one for $50 online that's got the hygrometer, the hydrate. This had, didn't even have a hydrator in it. And uh, was, you know, the one that Pipe Pappy sent is great. And if I could have found one like that, and they didn't even have any uh, hygrometers. So I got to, I've got to go buy the other Don Juan. They're total different companies, even though they got the same name. Through the years, they've been split. Even though they got the same name, total 100% opposites. Plus, I want some, uh, pick up, stock back up on some Havana honey. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, we've had a great time. I tell you, it seems like yesterday I was holding that little boy in my arm. And uh, he'll soon be married. And I'm proud of that young man. I am proud of what he has become, and uh, I, I want to tear up when I think about it, but he uh, he has done his old man proud, I promise. But anyway, I tell you, I've, I've, I've picked up in the last couple of days, I've picked up about 20 new subscribers, and I want to welcome you to the channel. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Um, I'll try to do, I'll try to do right by you. We, we, uh. Uh, we don't have a lot of gimmicks here. But we just shoot the breeze, enjoy a pipe, um, and just do some old-fashioned rambling. And if you enjoy that kind of thing, you you'll enjoy it. You'll en you'll enjoy being with us. And I thank you for for uh, coming along for the ride with us. But uh, and of course, I thank uh, all of my friends and subscribers uh, for watching. Thank you for your friendship, as always, and uh, hope everybody has had a good weekend and has a good Sunday, uh, winding it down. It's beautiful weather down here in Louisiana, South Louisiana. We, well, right now it's 73 degrees and it is 12:19 a.m. and it is 73 marvelous degrees, and it's going to be that way. When we left Monroe, it was uh, 74. Today it got up down here to 77. The humidity wasn't high. Perfect, perfect weather. So, uh, if y'all having this pretty weather, get out and grill a get out and grill a burger or a steak tomorrow. Throw one on the grill for me. I got to get back up here and get this downloaded and hit the hay. We're gonna head north tomorrow. I'll catch up with y'all in a more relaxed setting tomorrow night. Till then, as always, y'all take care. Have a good one and God bless.